the fact is that the end of times is approaching. But there are many liars who will use the end of times in order to make their own claims whether they were Muslim formally or they are non-Muslim. And this is an example of that individual in Russia, one of the many individuals. Hello? Yes, um, I need to uh, report uh, uh, an anonymous tip. Who do I talk to? Uh, okay, this is regarding what? And, uh, this is regarding a mass suicide, and I can give you the address. The address seemed the unlikeliest of places, a mansion in a quiet, affluent suburb of San Diego. I have a, a gagging reflex with smells, so I wanted to take care of that, so I put cologne on my shirt and put my shirt over my nose. Rio D'Angelo was the first one to discover the bodies and called 911. 21 women and 18 men had taken their own lives. Must have been a lot to take in. It was a lot to take in. It was disturbing because I'm, I'm yelling for people to see if they're still alive, and I'm also saying goodbye as I walk through. It may have been a shock, but D'Angelo had an idea of what to expect. He'd been one of them. In his earlier life, Rio D'Angelo had been Richard Ford. After going through a divorce, he felt lost and was looking for a spiritual path. This is showing a cult in 1997. They were known as Heavens, the Heaven's Gate cult. And the leader, whose name was Applewhite, he claimed he was Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam wa liyadu billah, reborn. And there was a woman who was a part of this cult. She claimed to be the father reincarnated, wa liyadu billah. And she passed away, and this man carried on his cult. And then when the comet came, Comet Hale-Bab, in 1997, this man said to his followers that an alien spaceship follows the comet and we will take our souls, kill ourselves, and our souls will be transported to this spaceship. And we will live a new life on this <coughs> spaceship. And as they showed in the video, the members, they took applesauce laced with poison ate it and drank something and they died and they placed purple shrouds on the body and they all wore Nike trainers also, strangely enough, Nike trainers and they all killed themselves. It's a very famous incident. Apart from the other incidents of Jim Jones in 1979, uh, Jonestown, where he had thousands of, uh, of 900 or somewhat followers of his, he made them commit mass suicide. This is showing you, the first case was a former Muslim misusing the doomsday scenario, the end of times. The second case was a man, former Christian, misguided. And previous to this, I showed you examples of non-Muslims, people who do not believe in religion, who can misuse end of times and doomsday scenarios. Finally. It was time for us to get our first glimpse of the teacher himself. Any moment now, Vasarian's going to descend from the stairs and address everyone here. And as you can see, everyone's eagerly anticipating it. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that they believe he is God. And it's uh, interesting and kind of scary to, to see so many people um, have so much faith in, in one man or, or God. We had traveled thousands of miles to the middle of nowhere in Siberia to see this man, Vissarion, address his congregation on what they call the holiday of good fruits. It was sort of spooky. And just as Vasarian was about to share some infallible nuggets of wisdom, they made us turn off the camera. So this is an example of a shaitan, 
and shaitan that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam warned us regarding in many a hadith where for instance Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and this is the book of Imam Yusuf al-Nabahani rahimahullah ta'ala from the Sahih of Imam al-Bukhari لا تقوم الساعة حتى تقتتل حتى تقتتل فئتان من فئتان عظيمتان تكون بينهما مقتل مقتلة عظيمة دعوتهما واحدة وحتى يبعث الدجالون كذابون قريب من ثلاثين كلهم يزعم أنه رسول الله that Rasulullah sallallahu said the hour will not be established until two major groups will fight and there will be a major killing amongst them meaning they will slaughter a major slaughter amongst them their claim will be won and until the jadun imposters liars will come out close to 30 each one of them claiming he is a messenger of Allah now this is referring to the Kadhabin, the liars, who will be initially Muslim and then they will claim this. Otherwise, the number of non Muslims who claim prophethood is uncountable. You can go to, well, you shouldn't go to, but you can find out about, for instance, a Mexican man who smokes drugs and sells drugs openly and he claims to be a prophet and people follow him. He has thousands of followers. This is where. Our crit critical methodology comes in, the science of hadith and Islamic eschatology. Islamic eschatology is looking at the end times from hadith literature. And this is why whenever we examine a sign of the end of times or any prophecies of Rasulullah it is necessary to examine the science of hadith and to verify the narrations which have been mentioned regarding the end of times. This is very important. And because there are thousands of hadith of Rasulullah thousands, it is necessary to place those hadith in order and to see which hadith is applicable where. And we will look at certain examples where hadith have been misapplied. But we have books like this book of Imam Muhammad Al-Barzanji rahmallahu ta'ala Al-Isha'a li asharati sa'a a famous work in which he done a fantastic job a scholar of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah of the 10th century in compiling the signs of the end of times with the Noda and eschatology meaning the signs of the end of times from those signs which have occurred from those signs which are occurring and those signs which will occur Secondly, unlike the Mayan calendar and the Sumerian tablets, the science of hadith has verification methods. Everything which has been mentioned by Rasulullah has been verified and authenticated by hadith scholars. Orientalists have tried attacking hadith literature, but yet you will find that hadith literature has withheld the assail of those orientalists, meaning the attacks which they have done on hadith literature, hadith literature has withheld and has proven itself to be strong. And initially they started with uh, uh, the hadith literature and then went to Al-Quran Kareem. Neither of the two have they been able to disprove. Those websites which have been set up by non-Muslims to disprove the Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, those websites have all been answered and Muslims can give replies to all the points presented by non-Muslims. Subhanallah. Now, with regard to the knowledge of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, we have the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, which we have here, on here I've mentioned the translation, our master Umar radiallahu ta'ala an reports the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Surely Allah exalted and mighty raised for me the world and I look at it and that which takes place in it until the establishment of the hour like I look at this palm of mine. And the hadith here 
in is narrated by Imam Tabarani. It states, "Qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam, Inna Allah azza wa jalla qad rafa ali al dunya, fa ana anzur ilayha wa ila ma huwa kain fiha ila yom al qiyamati, kaan ma anzur ila kafi hadi." As if I look at this palm of mine, meaning the events, whatever will transpire in the world, and in the Sahih of Imam Muslim, it states, "Qama fina Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam maqama." The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam stood amongst us. ما ترك شيئا يكون في مقام مقامه ذلك إلى قيام الساعة. He did not leave anything. In when he stood up, that will take place up until the day of judgment. Illa hadda fabihi, except that he informed us regarding that event, meaning everything that will transpire up until the day of judgment. A very beautiful hadith narrated by Sayyidina Abu Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu an states: "Qala bina Arabiyun fi baghi nawahi al Madina fi ghanam lahu." That there was a Bedouin in some of the outskirts of Al Madinah Al Munawwara with some flock of sheep. And a wolf came to attack the sheep. And the wolf took a sheep from the flock. The Bedouin came after the wolf. يمشي. He took the sheep away from the wolf and the wolf began to talk. ثم أقع مستثبرا بذنبه يخاطبه فقال أخذت رزقا رزقني الله He said you took away from me my sustenance which Allah gave to me. قال واعجبا من ذئب مقع مستثبر بذنبه يخاطبني. He was surprised. He said, "What a wondrous thing that a wolf, which is sitting down with its tail, is speaking to me." فقال والله إنك لا تترك أعجب من ذلك. The wolf said, "By Allah, you leave something more amazing than this." قال وما أعجب من ذلك. He said, "What is more amazing than this?" فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في نخلتين بين الحرتين يحدث الناس عن نبأ ما قد سبأ. That there is a messenger of Allah amongst the palm trees, the date trees, meaning in Al Madinah to Munawwara, between the two lava tracts. What two lava tracts are these? These are two lava tracts which are formed on the east and west of Al Madinah to Munawwara. He informs people of those things which have happened. وما يكون بعد ذلك. And this prophet. Informs people of those things which shall shall happen. قال فنعق العربي بغنم حتى الجاه إلى بعد المدينة ثم مشى إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Bedouin came with his flock of sheep to Al Madina al Munawwara, left his sheep flock, and went to see the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. حتى ضرب عليه بابا فلما صلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. When he reached the household of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam finished the prayer and said, "Ain al Arabi sahib al Ghanam? Where is the Bedouin, the possessor of sheep, the flock?" فقام العربي the Bedouin stood up. فقال له النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حدث الناس بما سمعت وبما رأيت. He said, "Inform the people what you saw and what you heard, what you heard and what you saw." فحدث العربي الناس بما رأى من الذئب. The Bedouin informed the people of what he saw from the wolf. وما سمع منه what he saw from the wolf and what he heard from him. فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عند ذلك the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said صدق آيات تكون قبل الساعة والذي نفس بيده. These are signs he has spoken the truth. These are signs that shall happen before the hour. لا تقوم الساعة. The hour will not be established. حتى يخرج أحدكم من أهله. Until one of you leaves his family, فيخبره نعله أو صوته عصاه بما أحدث أهله بعده. Until his shoe or his whip or his stick 
shall inform him what his family did after him. And we shall go on to this later, what the meaning of this hadith is. This is a hadith narrated by Imam al-Bazar in the Musnad. Many of you must have heard me mentioning this hadith when uh, debating the Najdiya movement who reject knowledge of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam currently. In Arada to Sharifa, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is resting in his blessed grave, but yet he states, Hayati khayrun lakum, wa mamati khayrun lakum. My life is a great good for you, and my passing away is a great good for you. Tuhdithuna wa yuhdathu lakum, you will relate about me, and it will be related to you. And in another version, Tuhdithuna wa yuhdathu lakum. And and then my and my death is a great good for you. Wa mamati khayrun lakum. This is the second part. Hayati khayrun lakum. The first part. And the second part, وَمَمَاتِ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ تُعْرَضُ عَلَيَّ عَمَالُكُمْ Your actions will be presented to me in the grave. وَإِذَا رَأَيْتُ خَيْرًا فَحَمِدْتُ اللَّهَ If when I see good actions, I will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذَا رَأَيْتُ شَرًا فَاسْتَغْفَرْتُ اللَّهَ لَكُمْ And if I see other than that, I will ask forgiveness of him for you. Meaning from from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Astaghfirullah lakum. This translation should be, and I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness for you. But this hadith has been narrated by Imam Bazar in his Musnad and many others also. And the hadith is sahih. The hadith is authentic. And we mentioned that if anyone wants to discuss from hadith perspective, sit down and discuss the authenticity of this hadith, we will discuss the authenticity of this hadith inshallah. This hadith from Sayyiduna Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu ta'ala an has been also narrated by Sayyiduna Abu al-Darda radiallahu an that he states the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam left us and there was not a bird flapping its wings in the sky except he mentioned for us some knowledge relating to it. Subhanallah. As referenced there, narrated by Imam Ahmad in his Musnad and Imam Al Imam Tabarani. And I've placed there a similar narration has been reported by our master Sayyiduna Abu Ad Darda Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states We have revealed upon you, meaning upon whom? Upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a book meaning the Quran which is an explanation for everything. So if someone states that they open the Qur'an and they do not find certain information in the Qur'an, we state, yes, it's tibyanun li kulli shay, an explanation for everything, but for whom? For sahibu ma kana wa ma yakun. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who had knowledge of ma kan, what has happened and what will happen with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is not equating the knowledge of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? 